we're doing your twin flame soulmate reading for the month of october scorpio sun moon and rising happy birthday to those of you that have your birthday in october i have two brothers that are scorpio and their birthday is at the end of the month my mother's birthday is in october as well but she's not a scorpio she's a libra so her birthday is at the beginning of the month scorpio sun moon and rising let's see scorpio what is going on with you guys, with your connection, with your twin, with your soulmate this October? Let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I actually just found out, guys, that my moon is in Scorpio. I know, how did I not know that, right? Well, in Western astrology, I am a moon in Sagittarius, and I've identified with being a Sag moon for almost all my life right and uh recently i got a vedic astrology uh what is it uh, i guess a reading right where, where they read your birth chart and uh, in fact yes i am a scorpio moon in vedic astrology and i quite resonate with the scorpio moon i have to say and uh, it's almost like everything made sense about my life uh, so now we have even a deeper connection scorpio and uh, also, you know, what I was left uh, realizing, thinking is, my goodness, my mother has had, you know, she had some pretty intense children, right? Because, yeah, I have two Scorpio brothers. One of them is older, and then uh, I have a younger Scorpio brother. And, well, it turns out I am a Scorpio moon, and my uh, son is in Taurus. So I think I'm very grateful for my son in Taurus because the Scorpio moon is very intense. My I feel things very strongly. I always have. I'm a highly sensitive empath and uh, the Scorpio moon is said to be one of the most psychic moons, if not the most psychic moon. And uh, well, growing up, I've, uh, I'm also a psychic medium. And since I was a little kid, I've always experienced spirit, uh, supernatural events, for example, that I never really understood. Some pretty scary stuff as well, right? Because, uh, you know, Scorpio represents the subconscious mind, represents death, right? The unknown, transformation, you know, all, all those things, right, that are, well, perhaps scary, right? Because it's death, right? So, fears. And as a kid, I always say that the best, the word that I can use to describe my childhood is haunted. I don't know, for some of you, one of my favorite shows, and I haven't been able to watch it in such a long time because I've already watched every episode there is. Uh, there's a show called, a uh, uh, TV series called The Haunting. And I love that uh, that series because it reminds me of my childhood and I certainly had those types of experiences, a lot of sleep paralysis as well and that is actually something that I want to start uh, vlogging about. And the type of sleep paralysis that I experienced and I haven't experienced it in a while but as a, as a kid. And I'm talking about elementary school, middle school, and this these are things that I kept to myself and that I communicated to my mom. So this was something that only the family knew. And sleep paralysis was something that I experienced a lot. And you guys will not believe my sleep paralysis was on another level. And sometimes it would happen, uh, it got to the point where, I don't can't remember what year, what age, but it would happen regularly sometimes every day for like a week or so and my sleep paralysis would last uh, I'm not lying guys I'm not kidding uh, maybe up to 30 minutes where I would lay there paralyzed unable to move and uh, all I could do is move my eyes and do was something very normal for me as as a kid so if you can imagine uh, the type of uh, experiences the upbringing that I had it was quite uh, terrifying and I didn't even know I was a psychic medium. I, I didn't know any of those things. And uh, I saw things, felt things. And it wasn't until later on in life that I 
had my spiritual awakening, which by the way, I had my spiritual awakening last year in October on the 10th, October the 10th. And uh, that is the day Jupiter entered Scorpio. And uh, that's the day I had my spiritual awakening. And let me tell you, my spiritual awakening was frightening because that's the day I actually awakened to be in a psychic medium. That's the day my life flashed before my eyes and I realized I put all the pieces together. Oh my goodness, this is why I experienced this as a child. This is why I heard this. This is why I saw this. This is it. everything, right, uh, that never made sense. All the questions that I've carried with me up until that moment were answered that day on October the 10th. I woke up and uh, everything looked different. Uh, the best way that I can describe it is like when you, uh, for those of you that wear glasses, when you get a new pair of glasses, right, and you put them on, you try them on, you know, you take off your old pair and you put the new ones on, everything looks so clear, so crisp, right? It's just like crystal clear. And you think, my goodness, was I that blind before? But you couldn't tell, right? So it's a different level of perception of awareness, right? That uh, you wouldn't have experienced or known unless you, you've, uh, you know, put on the glasses, for example. So yeah, that's, that's what it felt like to me and uh, that's the day actually that spirit uh, started speaking to me. And it's not like uh, spirit never spoke to me before. It's like that energy has always been with me since the child, but I finally understood what was going on. I finally understood what was going on that day. And I had a very difficult upbringing as well. And uh, I know I read that that is something that Scorpio moons uh, go through, a very difficult uh, childhood upbringing that sometimes has, you know, a lot of abuse. And that is definitely what I've been through. So the Scorpio moon completely resonates with me. And now I'm a little conflicted. I don't know whether I should say I'm a Scorpio moon or I'm a Sagittarius moon because I resonate with both of them and I have my moon in the eighth house and I also have my my Scorpio right in uh, in the eighth house so you know I'm, I have that energy very strongly so anyways guys uh, let me continue with the reading I'm sorry that I rambled on, but I wanted to uh, communicate that, share this with you guys. Let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising in Scorpio. The first card is going to represent the position of the, of the connection. So the energy that the both of you are entertaining, the combined energy. So let's see, Scorpio. We have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is intuition. It is hidden knowledge. It's a spiritual connection as well. So let's see what this is. We have the Hermit. Okay, so what I'm getting from this Hermit, there could be a Taurus, perhaps a Pisces, even a, I was going to say even a Hermit. <laughs> even a Virgo here of significance for some of you. So what I'm getting from this high priest, priestess and this hermit is that for many of you, you have been in separation from this person or the both of you are not speaking. There is distance here, whether that is physical or emotional distance. And actually, you are learning a lot during this, this time, whether you are aware of this or not. So for many of you, you could be spending a lot of time alone, the both of you, and uh, you're tapping into your intuition, into your higher guidance, and you could be experiencing a lot of synchronicities, um, a lot of aha moments, getting to know yourself, becoming more spiritual, understanding so much that you didn't before. And there's this calmness when uh, that I'm feeling right now, Scorpio, with you, of feeling like I am okay. And I'm getting so sad right now, guys, but it's the type of um, sadness that is not like, um, 
it's not like desperate, you know, crying, not being able to move forward, right? Being on your knees, not being able to get up. Uh, look at that, the Ace of Wands. Yes, this is the type of pain, right, that uh, we Scorpios, right, use to transform because that's what we do. And again, that is something that I've always done my entire life is that I use pain. Um, I use crisis right challenges and i use that to uh, light a fire under me and it uh, throughout my entire life i have been transforming over and over and over again where for example 10 years ago five years ago i was a completely different person so i feel you know that you've transformed scorpio you've transmuted a lot of emotions and for many of you Scorpio you felt in the past perhaps not too long ago that you were unable to move forward you were feeling lonely but now Scorpio you are trusting in the universe you're trusting in yourself in your intuition and this loneliness feels really good Let's see. This is the combined energy for the both of you. So I feel like whatever's happening in the month of October, whatever has happened, has really enlightened the both of you, helped the both of you develop a side of yourself that perhaps was uh, neglected. Let's see. Scorpio. What energy are you exuding? What energy are you bringing towards your twin, your soulmate? Let's see, Scorpio. <laughs> we have the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, this is someone that is fighting back. What did I say? I said for you, Scorpio, I feel like you've gathered your strength. And you are defending, you're, you're defending where you stand. The Seven of Wands is a person that is has very strong beliefs and they're willing to do anything to stay in a good position. So you're fighting for something, Scorpio. Let's see. Defending yourself even. And I strongly feel that this is because, Scorpio, you've had a lot of time to think. And you find yourself in such a good spot where you've recovered, you've transformed, and you're a little defensive here. You're not really wanting to let anyone in. Seven of Wands. You see this person? They have a wand and there's six other wands, right, that are trying to poke this person. And, uh, well, this person is going to attack. They're going to attack. If they're touched, they're going to attack. Let's see. That's that stinger is out. Let's see. For many of you, you know what visual I just got. <clears throat> and guys, when I do a reading, I'm a highly sensitive empath, I'm a psychic medium, and um, when I do a reading, when I do a tarot reading. I'm feeling things, sensations, and there's like a movie playing in my head, and I'm talking. All of this is happening at the same time, and the visual that I just got is a person going like that, luring this scorpion into a cave, and the scorpion is uh, looking at this person, and they kind of move back, and they move forward, and they're thinking, should I go into this darkness, into this cave? And uh, the scorpion goes inside and it's a trap. And uh, well, the scorpion, right, is ready to sting because it's, it's thinking, I trusted and I got lur lured, right? I was fooled. It's time to strike. It's, it's time to sting. Let's see. Let's see. What about your soulmate, your twin? You are you are strong in October. Scorpio, spiritually unbreakable. Let's see. What about uh, Eight of Cups? So 
the Eight of Cups. And then we have the Tower here. I feel like this person walked away. That is the energy they have. Eight of Cups. Let's see, what is this? We have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords has been in a meditative state here, right? What did I say earlier? I said the both of you have really grown during this time. This experience has taught you so much. And I feel like this person is reflecting. And in this tarot deck, there's a woman looking at the, at the moon. So the energy that uh, your twin, that your soulmate is bringing in is that of reflecting on the past reflecting on the past let's see let's get a card to clarify the seven of wands also what i'm getting the reason that they are reflecting for those of you that i'm connecting with scorpio this is a person that left and now they find themselves doing um a lot of healing work perhaps even uh into their they have some sort of spiritual practice where they find themselves meditating for some of you and they're wanting to come back <clears throat> with the hermit and this is you scorpio the high priestess calm serene just knowing trusting in the universe for many of you scorpio you know this person is going to return sooner or later and scorpio you're waiting for them you're waiting for them to come back. Let's see. I feel like this person is contemplating. Should I? Should I not? And uh, for those of you, look at that. We have the Queen of Cups here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is all about taking the next step. For many of you, Scorpio, you're contemplating whether you want to get into a relationship, whether you want to try, see if this works out. You're considering that. And for many of you, that might not be up for grabs yet, right? That might not be an offer that's on the table. But you know with the High Priestess, it's coming. The Hermit is coming. I see the light in the distance. And you are preparing yourself. And they are too. Look at that. Look at that. You see this person? They're right in front of a door. And the Four of Wands, right, represents a home. And you're awaiting. And you see their energy is of returning. Connecting intuitively the both of you. Let's see. What is the issue? What is the story here? Let's see, Scorpio. We have the Three of Wands. You see this person? This is the awaiting your ships. There's someone waiting. Strongly feel that it's the both of you. You're waiting for them and this person is waiting for the right moment, I feel. The Three of Wands is expecting. This is someone that knows. It's almost like some, you feel something coming for many of you. Strongly feel that this is the both of you. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's a ship in the distance that is coming. We have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords has been, this is the Queen that has lived a very hard life. She has learned the hard way not to, well, not to trust in everyone. So she could be a little scorned, this Queen of Swords. This could be a male or a female Queen of Swords. Also, this is someone that uh, sees through the bull, right? You cannot fool this Queen of Swords. She means business. And, uh, well, you better not uh, cross her because her sword is out. Let's see. 
we have the sun this is the sun reversed so the sun is a very positive card it represents uh, happiness reconciliation joy positive energy expression it's, it's just good good energy right and it's reversed but uh, the sun card is not really that bad reverse it still keeps a lot of its uh, positive energy so what I'm feeling here, uh, Scorpio, is that uh, you're really deep down inside, you're, you're really wanting to put your guard down, but it's, it's, it's a little hard to do that. You see this? The Sun card could also represent pride. For some of you, that is definitely the case for a selective few. Let's see. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands. It's a ten, so it's completion. You, this, this journey has been long, and uh, you are ready to lay this burden down. You've carried it. Uh, you've been carrying it for quite some time, and you're ready to let it go. And you know what that is, uh, Scorpio. For those of you that I'm connecting with. You're ready, right, to let it all go. But the thing that is holding you back, Scorpio, is this Queen of Swords and this Ten of uh, this, I'm sorry, this, this Sun card in reverse. It's like you, you have to put your sword down. You have to be willing to hear someone out at the very least, Ten of Swords. And once you can do that, that is when you're going to feel relief, finally. Putting your guard down because that's what you really want to do. We have the four of wands here. So you want happiness. For many of you, you want commitment. You see these two women in this card? They're having a good time. But you've been hurt for many of you, Scorpio. And uh, well, nah, I don't really know. Let's see, Ten of Wands, let's clarify this Ten of Wands. We have this Two of Pentacles, you see? What was I just saying? The Two of Pentacles represents, could be indecision, right? Juggling with two ideas, right? Uh, well, also having so much going on, right? And knowing that sooner or later you're going to have to lay one of these coins down. Make a decision. For many of you, Scorpio, you don't have to entertain this Ten of Wands anymore. Just let it go. Put your burden down. You can put your burden down now. Let's see. We have the tower. We Look at that. All of these are turned over. We have the tower. We have the Eight of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Cups. So this is you. Also, it could be another Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but I feel like this is you. The Tower. This is something shocking. Strongly feel that for many of you, either you have received or will be receiving some uh, shocking news an event that is going to take place that is going to come out of nowhere the eight of uh, wands you see this the eight of wands represents communication swiftness something coming in and we have this tower queen of cups this is you and then we have the moon and then right at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. This is a tower moment for you, Scorpio, that came out of nowhere. Let's see, what is this? We have the Six of Swords. For many of you, someone walked away. Someone left. And left you, I'm hearing, left you hanging with the tower. 
and uh, for many of you you could have heard some news so the tower then hearing some news uh, the way that I see this is like a bomb right a bomb hits and then still being attacked being attacked many different ways here and uh, strongly feel what I'm feeling here for you Scorpio for those of you that I'm connecting with is that this person left during very difficult times they left four of swords there was a storm things got difficult and this person said i'm not sticking around for this uh, i'll come back right when the war is over moon card three of swords i feel that for many of you scorpio you're, you're still left with a lot of questions and with a lot of pain Let's see. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. Let's get another card. Six of Wands. We have the King of Swords. The Six of Wands. This is accomplishment, victory, success. Strongly feel that whatever this is, Scorpio, you got out of it. We have the death card here. This is you. This is transformation. You've transformed. King of Swords. But for many of you, Scorpio, you're not ready. You're not ready for to trust. You're not ready to trust because the King of Swords does not trust anyone. This is the lawyer. This is the judge. The King of Swords, he believes, right, that there's a hidden motive. There is something behind uh, every everything, right? Behind every word. That is the King of Swords, very defensive. And you've gotten yourself out of this. You've gotten yourself out of this pickle, right, uh, Scorpio? And you're in a much better place, and you know that. And, uh, well, you want to stay safe. You want to stay here. King of Swords, Six of Wands. For many of you, there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is going to be coming back in. Wanting to, for many of you, this person is getting ready to come back. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. You have so much to be happy about. Scorpio, so much. That is why the Sun card is here in reverse. Appreciate this moment. Know how, how far you've come, how much you have accomplished. The Sun card. The only thing that is keeping you back is uh, perhaps forgiving someone. And do know that when you don't forgive, you're actually causing yourself harm because you're harboring a lower energy in your space within you that is not going to allow you to reach your highest potential king of swords let's see so when you forgive you forgive yourself you forgive them and you allow new space for something new to come in that is good let's see <clears throat> we have the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius yes someone's going to be coming in that you've been expecting, you've been expecting for some time, Scorpio, and uh, you've cried for many of you, you've gone through the drama by yourself, right, and you're, you are recovered, you've cried enough, I'm sorry guys if you could hear the lawnmower outside, they're cutting the grass, they're coming back, strongly feel that for many of you you've recovered and now they're coming back when you are on your two feet they're coming back and for many of you you're thinking i've recovered i did this by myself and now you're coming back when i am fully recovered when i'm doing good that's when you come back and i feel that this is where the uh, conflict comes in where you feel like this person 
you cannot trust them they're not loyal to you they're scorpio i'm sorry the camera turned off my camera turns off at every 30 minutes i lost track of time i don't even know where i was at so yeah i feel like that's what's going on here scorpio is that someone left you right when you weren't doing so well and now they're coming back when uh, well when when things when the storm has cleared but uh, you went through that storm by yourself and now they're coming back i want to get uh let's pull two cards from this deck here scorpio you see this person victory they're they're on their high horse they're proud their chin is up in the air and uh, here comes this Knight of Wands coming in. By the way, the Knight of Wands is unpredictable, right? Is ruled by his, her desires. So they're in and out, could have a short attention span. And you're not really trusting, so you're wiser. So if you're wiser, that is why we have the Hermit here. Let's see. We have Guidance, Support, Love, Signs, Direction. So... Scorpio, look around. Spirit is with you. Your guides are helping you, guiding you at this moment. Synchronicities in your dreams. You're going to know what to do. Let's see. Let's get another card. We have personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, authenticity. For many of you, Scorpio, boundaries, that is what you have to do. Do not let this person in right away. Create some space. And you know that. Seven of Wands, look at that. You're doing that already. Protect yourself. Hear them out. Hear what they have to say. I feel like they are, they have reflected a lot with the Four of Swords. But definitely, do not be too quick to trust. Not yet. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. You still have uh, to complete this healing. And you don't want to uh, go back on anything, right? Delay this process. I want to get another card from you, for you, Scorpio, from this Oracle deck over here. One more, Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio. We have Cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Look at that. And this is a this looks like a Christmas tree. Yes, this is a Christmas tree, so your gift is here. You're doing well, Scorpio. Firecracker. You are a firecracker. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get one more. You've created this. You've created Christmas in October for you, Scorpio. We have snake. Look at that. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Doesn't that go so well with what I've been telling you? Do not be too quick to trust uh, Scorpio, right? Snake right here. Listen to your intuition. It's very high. It's not going to fail you. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was my honor and my pleasure. You guys take care. Bye-bye.